Of the highlights, you say? Yeah, tell, tell, talk about the press conference. I mean, I saw well, a lot of Well, let's talk it. about the big news first. The big news is that uh, the main event of the show, as uh, had been talked about in advance, was Darby Allen, the Darby Allen match with Christian. And uh, when they announced that that was the main event, given that they had a lot of other things on the show, including where they were building its dream match with Seattle Zone, Aberdeen Zone, Brian Danielson versus Zack Sabre Jr., and, and all the other stuff they had on the show... When they announced that Darby and Christian was the main event, it was like I knew immediately. I didn't know at all what was going to happen, but I knew either Darby is winning the title back in his hometown or there's going to be a big angle and it may very well be Edge debuting on the show. Which, and uh, which, which, it was, which... in fact, the latter. Christian Well, beat... I mean, I think that the, the, when, when they took Edge off of the SmackDown Open... I thought that that was that's uh, a pretty good indication as well. That was a, I mean, not not the SmackDown open, but that open. You know, that thing that they do at the beginning of the show yeah. that they do at the beginning of every show. They when they pulled him off that open, to me, that's like a sign saying, okay, we know he's gone. Because if he, you know, if he was not going, if he was just not wrestling, they would keep him in the open because that's what you know. So um, I saw that as a sign, and people had been talking all week, you know, in the idea of of Edge. Mercedes Monet, who, who, you know, I presume will be there as soon as her injury heals, and Mariah May. Um, you know, those names have been floating I around. I thought that Mariah May would be there. Yeah. But uh, I think there's a reason she wasn't there, but uh, we could talk about that on a different day. But anyway, uh, so Edge uh, debuted as Adam Copeland after Christian beat Darby in Seattle in his hometown when Nick Wayne turned on Darby, mm -hmm. and uh, they were doing well, the three-on-one. You could, you could. Um, I mean, there was a backstory. You know, the whole thing with with Darby going, becoming friends with a, a. R. Fox and everything. I mean, it, it. Well, there's definitely a story here. You know, it made it made sense. You know, in that sense, um, it was interesting that uh, when he does the turn, how horrified his mom was. Well, of course, she was horrified that this happened. It was it was a horrifying thing that he did this year in Seattle, turning on Darby. Yeah. So then they're doing the three on one, and then uh, out comes uh, Sting, and then of course out comes Luchasaurus. And so it's a uh, it's a three on two beating, and man, I at that point I was like sure he was coming. But as oh, soon yeah. as Christian got that chair to do the concerto, oh yeah, it was like sure. there's only one man who will stop this concerto, and it was Adam Copeland, and uh, he's got his WWE music because in fact he is friends with the people that wrote the music, yep. and the people that uh, put the music together that wrote the song. They're the ones who decide who gets to use it. Yeah. And uh, and so he basically said at the press conference, like, doesn't matter where I go, I'm taking that music everywhere. And so... so, the, so and the rated R superstar thing was that WWE failed to trademark renew its it. trademark on it, so that was free and clear. Because yes. when they first said... When, on the broadcast, when they first said Radar Superstar, I was thinking like, oh, God, they're going to get Tony in trouble. But that that was not any trouble at no, all. No, when, when he showed up at the press conference, I mean, Tony was like, Radar Superstar, Radar yeah, Superstar. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, so they, they have Radar Superstar. They have the music. He is Adam Copeland. And he debuted, and he got a monster pop. Well, of course, of course he did. And uh, there were there were six thousand sixty five hundred people in the building. It sounded like there were about twenty thousand there. I mean, they went absolutely nuts. I, I heard, heard seventy three hundred. Uh, yeah, whatever the number was. But I mean, yeah. I mean, it was a, it was a good crowd. It was much bigger than the night before for Collision. But he got well, a, a massive ovation. I mean, I mean, to me, to me, um, which we'll, we'll we'll talk about that later. But to me, uh, for a pay per view. I mean, you should be, you know, you should be, I'm not saying you should sell it out, but um, to me, that's not a great crowd. That's, it's, it's, you know, I mean, it's, it was at five. So, I mean, I guess, you know, it moved some at the end, but um, I mean, the, the, the reality is, is like they're putting out, like, I think a pretty damn good product, especially on pay-per-views. I mean, pay-per-view is freaking awesome, but I mean, there is an issue that they're, they're not selling, you know, um, and putting on great shows does not. Uh, you know, I mean, it's better than putting on bad shows, but, you know, I've seen for 100 years or, you know, studying wrestling that putting on great shows does not necessarily mean your business is going to turn around. You know, it, you would think so, but, you know, it's it's there's well, so many other market factors in play. And Tony and, uh, was very proud of the last four shows and uh, he was proud of all the shows they've added. He said everyone had been great. He said this show is above 100,000 buys. That's how it's trending, he said. Which that's he not, was a, I mean, OK, so that, that's a profitable number. But when you consider that they've been doing consistent 140s, and I mean, I knew it would be down because of, um, you know, going against the NFL. 
But he uh, said bigger I, than All Out, by the way. So what did All Out finish at? All Out's probably um, the last number I had would have been about ninety five. But it should have been All Out came seven days after a pay per view. It should have been bigger than All Out. This one, I mean, All Out did. I I thought All Out did fine for what it was. I mean, it was about what I would have figured. This one was lower than I would have figured, even with the football and everything like that. Um, so, um, you know, and I mean, again, I think that there's 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 a lot of stuff. I mean, one of them is, is that, you know, you're going against the NFL is going to hurt to a degree. But still, um, the NFL shouldn't hurt you 40 percent. And, um, you know, the card, I, I think that it's loud and clear that you uh, you need a real world title match on these pay-per-views. And this one didn't have it. And um, even with the dream match, but the dream match thing, it's just like when they did Forbidden Door. Forbidden Door, I thought was going to do really good. And the one thing is, is that those type of dream match things for hardcore fans, I mean, Forbidden Door did fine. It did good, but but it didn't do through the roof good. And this one didn't even do normal with that dream match. So, um, I mean, you need, I mean, you need a strong world title match for a pay-per-view and, uh, you know, running a lot of pay-per-views. Um, you know you're gonna you're gonna be down if you run you know eight a year over over four I think, but it's still a profitable show. So uh, Edge in the uh, or Adam Copeland, someone did call him Edge. I forget who it was, but Tony uh, immediately Tony shot, shot him, him down really quick. Yes, yeah, and cannot then, use uh, that name, Edge. Someone else, someone else, I believe said Daniel Bryan. But anyway, uh, well, Jim, Adam, Jim, Ro- Jim Ross in commentary. No, said it was Daniel in the Bryan. press conference. Somebody somebody said uh, really Daniel Bryan. Yeah, oh, well, but anyway, well. uh, Edge or. Adam Copeland in the uh, press conference, he uh, talked about how, you know, he came here and he's going to be like a regular performer. And Tony yeah, not, reiterated not, that. Yeah, yeah, not three three matches, six matches a year. He he's says gonna be he's going to be wrestling all the time. He's wrestling yeah. in a week on that Tuesday night head-to-head with NXT. He'll be wrestling Luchasaurus. He's on the show Wednesday. He's on Collision coming up on Saturday. Yeah. So uh, doing, he's doing going to be all over the place. And Tony did say it's like he's not just going to be on the show all the time. You know, he's going to be wrestling all the time. So we'll see what that means. But uh, he's already got a match coming up in a week. And he well, talked I, I about. Think, I, I, I think he's probably going to be on every pay per view. Yeah. He talked about how. Uh, Which is interesting because, you know, his old deal was, uh, you know, very, you know, not that many shows. So it's it's and this is a harder style than WWE style, too. So it's. um. Obviously, you know, I mean, I'm sure he got a great financial deal, but um, he's making a real commitment. And also, you know, I think he really wants to, you know, from what it sounded like to me, it sounds like he really wants to, like, coach and help and, you know, all that, all that stuff. Yeah, he's going to be doing all that. So, uh, and they talked about how he and uh, Darby went out around Seattle and uh, filmed the vignette that they showed on here. Uh, Darby apparently did all of the cinematography for that uh, because he had gone to film school, actually, as Darby noted the press conference before he decided to become a wrestler. So he did all of the filming, and they found a sketchy area around Seattle, which nowadays is every area around Seattle. Hmm. And uh, they drove around and filmed that, that vignette, and he said he just had the time of his life. He's hanging out the back of the truck just... He said it felt like, uh, you know, his Sexton Hardcastle indie days was what it felt like to him, just having so much fun and going out there and seemed very happy and appreciative to uh, to get this opportunity. And actually, he uh, he had been very, very close to signing with AEW before he ended up going back to ago. WWE. It was, like, yeah. real close. And then, yeah. you know, he decided at the last minute. And it was like, you know, it was a professional thing. It wasn't like he left him high and dry, but... You know, well, WWE, decided, made, WWE made him a better offer. That's what happened. Yeah, he went to... He, uh, three, it was a $3, $3 million offer for only a couple matches a year. Yep, he went to WWE, and and now he is here after uh, after almost being here once before. So Yeah, I, I, I would say that considering people in WWE had told me that he was going a long time ago, um, I think that the stuff where he said, like, he, you know... I mean, he did have a contract offer from WWE, you know, um, and turned it down. But I think that that stuff that he was saying, you know, a couple of weeks ago was was just a swerve. I mean, I think that, you know, he, I think he's been going for a while, you know, that, that he was going to finish up this contract. He was going to do the farewell match in, uh, you know, in Toronto. 
and um, he was going to be in AEW in some form because I'd been not, not just the rumors, but just the fact that people were just from there were just going like, yeah, you know, he's going to go. So, um, you know, whatever. But uh, I mean, it's a good it's a good acquisition for AEW. They need to steal one more piece of business from the Saturday Night Main Event, if you will. And that's the green screen for those opening promos. Put something behind them, like, you know, we're FTR, you know, have no fits or whatever behind the, just something. Like what you got behind you right now. He's in an empty room. Ready? Boom! Huh? Hey, look at that. Now Lance is a star. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.